Greetings of the day, students. Our practical for today is glassware. As you see, we have the tumbler, the footedware, and the stemware. The tumbler is basically a bowl without the stem or foot. Its sides may be straight, widened, or curved. For example, the rock glass or an old fashioned glass. Footedware this type has the bowl which sits directly on the base or the foot without the stem. Bowl and the base may come in variety of shapes, for example, the brandy balloon, the beer goblet, etc. Stemware. It refers to glasses that have all the three parts, the bowl, the base and the stem. The stem connects the bowl with the base or the foot. For example, the champagne tulip, champagne flute, red wine glass, white wine glass, etc. So we have three types of glassware, the tumbler, the footed wear, and the stem wear. Can you see how to hold the stem where? Thank you. Greetings of the day and welcome to Sadika, our training restaurant. In continuation with our practical on glassware, allow me to introduce you all to the tumbler category of glassware today. You have here the shot glass. This shot glass is used to serve shooters or just simple one measure alcoholic shots. I'm sure you've heard of the famous tequila shots. Then you have the juice glass here, which is served, uh, juices are served in banquet operations, even for welcome drinks, you can use this glass. You then have the roly poly. The roly poly is the quintessential mid century designed glass to serve whiskey. The rock glass. The rock glass is used to serve whiskey on the rocks. So I literally rocks would actually refer to ice cubes. So serving whiskey on ice cubes. Then you have the old fashioned glass. It's a glass which serves the classic cocktail old fashioned. So the glass name is actually taken over from the classic cocktail old fashioned. The highball here is used to serve mixers and spirits. Ideally, we also use it to serve water. A thinner comparison is called the Slim Jim, which is much slimmer and a little taller. Again, it's an alternative to the highball. We then have the Tom Collins. The Tom Collins is a much uh, broader glass and a taller one to serve the classic cocktail Tom Collins. The Beer Pilsner. Bottled and drought lager beers are served in the Beer Pilsner glass. You then have the beer mugs. Now we have two categories of beer mugs. You have the beer mug and you have the dimples. So this one here is a traditional beer glass which has a nice handle to hold on to. And then if you see this has the design. So the dimple has the design replicating the dimples that we get on our cheeks. So we have the dimple glass. Again a traditional beer glass. So let's go through them all again. The shot glass, the juice glass. The roly poly, the rock glass, the old fashioned, the highball, Slim Jim, Tom Collins, and you have the beer pilsner, the beer mug, and the dimple. Thank you. Greetings of the day and welcome to Salika, our training restaurant. Here are some examples of footed wear. As you see, the Irish coffee glass, which gets its name from a famous whiskey based cocktail. Ice creams are served in an ice cream coupe. Next we have the brandy balloon. Its distinct shape aids in holding the glass for long. The beer goblet. Traditionally beers were also served in beer goblets. This tall glass here is called the Sunday glass. 
Now, sundae is a dessert of ice cream which is topped with flavoured sauce and whipped cream and garnished with a cherry. So, you have the Irish coffee glass, the ice cream coupe, the brandy balloon, the beer goblet and the sundae glass. They're all part of the footed wear. Thank you. Greetings of the day. Allow me to introduce you to stemware where all three parts of the glasses are present the bowl, the stem and the base or the foot, the stemware. Let's begin with our liqueur glass. If you see this tiny little glass, very cute looking, we use this to serve our liqueurs in it. A very small amount of liqueur is poured. Moving on, we have here the white wine and the red wine glass. If you notice, the white wine glass is comparatively smaller to the red wine glass as smaller portions of white wine are served as compared to red which serves a bigger portion. This here is a champagne saucer used traditionally to serve champagne but was later replaced with flutes and tulips. If you see there is a large circumflex because of which the bubbles evaporate much faster. The champagne tulip. The glass takes its name from the flower, the tulip. If you see the shape, it resembles the tulip. The champagne flute, a nice slender glass. Both the tulip and the champagne for flute, they have these tall glasses so that the bubbles stay in them for a little longer. The margarita glass. Margarita is another type of cocktail. You have the big margarita and the small margarita glass. Moving on to the martini glass. We have the big martini glass. You see both the sides nice and slender. And you also have a smaller martini glass. Martini again is a type of cocktail. The hurricane glass, typically used to serve pina coladas. So if you see most of these glasses take their names from the drinks that they are served in. The stemware, again consisting of the bowl, the stem and the foot or the base. The stemware. Thank you.